Animal rescues are in desperate need right now. They say they are seeing more and more pets coming in every day, and they just don't have enough staff or foster families to keep up with the demand. Here's our Marcus Espinoza. Adoption centers across New Jersey are at capacity, including here at Homeward Bound Adoption Center in Blackwood, where every cat, every kitten, every dog, and every puppy needs a home, and you could be that person. You gotta make your debut, you're sitting already. Oh, and you just gave me your paw. <laughs> Handsome Yaden here has gone without a forever home for nearly a year. Yaden knows sit. He clearly knows Paul. Um, he knows stay. He knows down. We do down. Down. Good. He's one of hundreds of dogs along with just as many cats here at Homeward Bound Pet Adoption Center in New Jersey looking for that forever home. The facility here is in desperate need of not only permanent adoptions, but also badly needed foster homes to free up space in their shelter. We really need fosters. Um, it, it's just, we have a lot right now, but even the current amount that we have is just unfortunately not enough. Shauna Donahue is the program's manager here and says the sheer numbers of animals coming into their facility is overwhelming the staff. Currently, we have over 300 cats in the building. And for dogs, we have about 125. That staff is also in need of folks who can volunteer and work here. Fostering a pet can do more than provide comfort, Shauna says. It can save a life. So when I took him home, he was skin and bones. His eyes were sealed shut. Now they're big and they're open. And he's gaining weight. And that is the magic of foster care. She adds fostering does not always mean a long-term commitment. Any amount of time can help tremendously. If you're home and you're boring like me, we encourage you to come in here and take home an animal. Homeward Bound is open all weekend long. The special goes on until Sunday. $25 adoptions for cats and dogs, and you can take home your next best friend. In Blackwood, Marcus Espinosa, Fox 29 News.